There you are, Elena. Oh, your luggage is here. I wanted to help you bring them out. Your taxi will be here in a minute from now. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? How every of my possession could fit into one luggage. Hmm. Life. Who would ever believe that I was once a slave queen? And that I used to live in a lap of luxury. Yes. Who would ever believe? Who? Stop. Now what did we agree on about you not dwelling on the past? I know. I know. Just that I can't help it sometimes. Wish and wonder that it's all a dream. If only I can turn back the hand of time. Especially now. Ah. I understand. Right? You no. Know, it could have been worse. Eva, what could be worse than going back to a house you once owned as a housekeeper and a nurse? Tell me what could be worse than that? Well, it's better than nothing. <sighs> I know. Just don't want to sound ungrateful. Hmm. Life. Look. I understand. Okay? And like I always say, always look on the bright side. It might be small, but it's your new beginning. Okay? Hmm. I hope so. I truly hope so. I truly hope I can be working on from this dream. It's okay. Eva. I want to say a big thank you to you for everything you've done for me. Especially giving me a shelter. I really appreciate it. I have told you to stop saying thank you. You are my friend. And I'll do it over and over again. Besides, I know that if the reverse was the case, you'd do the same for me. I'll always be here for you Madam, we're here. You know what? Come down again. No. I mean, yes. I'll come down. Just help me with my suitcase and the boots. This is your madam around? I'm a madam. Yes, she's around. Okay, um, she, she knows I'm coming. My name is Elena. Okay. Yeah, can I see her? No problem.
Come on, Elena. You can do this. Summon up courage and do it. Tell me, how do Elena, I look? Elena, the queen of my villa. <laughs> <laughs> my love, you look rubbish. Thank you. <laughs> the wife of my villa. <laughs> um, I want to make your birthday a memorable one. Ooh. So I'm taking you somewhere. <laughs> mm -mm, where could that be? Don't worry, my queen. Once again, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. Mm. What is it, Rita? Sorry for interrupting. I came to check if there is any special menu planned for your birthday tonight. If you are entertaining any guests tonight. No, 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 Rita. That won't be necessary. Because my husband and I are going out to have dinner. So we are not having no guests. Hmm? All right, ma. Okay, dear. Once again, happy birthday. Thank you, Rita. Hmm. My queen, shall we? Of course. <laughs> Ready? My queen, is it? Oh. Good afternoon. I don't remember giving you the liberty to sit. I'm so sorry, ma. I'm so sorry. Of course, you ought to be. But let me make one thing clear. I don't condone the help taken on Julie, but it's okay? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I promise it won't happen again. You better not. I see you're the new lost come housekeeper. Yes, ma'am. My name is Elena Dike. Interesting. Miss Dike. Yes, ma'am. And you're pregnant? Yes, ma'am. But I promise you, it will not come in the way of my, my job. I will do my job diligently, ma. No, 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 no. This won't do, okay? This won't do at all. Why don't you include this in your application? Mm. Ma. You can't have this job, okay? I'll have to let you go. Now, if you will excuse please, me. Please, please, ma. Please, I pray for you. I really, really need this job. Like, this is my last resort, ma. Please, don't send me away. Please, ma. I promise you, I would do my job diligently. I would do everything that I need to do, Ma. I promise you, you will not regret it, Ma. I promise you. I promise you, Ma. I really need this job. Please. Please, Ma. This will be your room during the duration of your stay here. My mom, who you will have to notice, is in the room next door. So I thought it'd be better to put you here for easy access. Thank you very much, ma. That's thoughtful of you. Don't thank me, okay? I didn't do it to make your job easier. Quite to the contrary. Okay, ma. Noted. I'm glad we understand each other. And be well advised not to use your pregnancy as an excuse for tardiness. Else you'll be fired. Not at with all. immediate effect. Not at all. Trust me. Leave your stuff here while I take you to my room. Okay, ma'am.
Good day, ma'am. Elena, this is my mom, Mrs. Matilda. Mom, Elena, the new nurse and housekeeper. Good day. Like Madame Sonia said, I am your new nurse. I promise you, you and I are going to be having a great time together. Don't bother. She won't respond. She actually has a medical case called catatonia. And the case has become so malignant, hence the need for you to take her blood pressure administration seriously. And you also need to see to you that she's rehydrated. All right. Noted. Yeah. Remind me also to drop a chart for you. You know, a chart about her feeding and drug administration. Okay. I'll do just that. Uh, Madam Sonia, I don't mean to pry, but what did her doctor say is the cause of her condition? She actually lost her son, my younger brother, who was her favorite. She couldn't bear the shock. Depression set in, and she became a pitiful shadow of herself. I'm so sorry. I don't need your sympathy, okay? Neither does my mom. Just do the work you were hired to do. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, you had me all right. <laughs> well, this is our first day at work, so we have to make it count. Hmm? We have work to do. Hmm? Let's get on with it. I'm sure I can call you that, Mrs. M. Trust me, you and I are going to be the best of friends. I promise. <laughs> Come. Whoa, Mrs. M, look at your hair. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at the texture of your hair. It's so nice and soft. Hmm. I'm very sure you were so pretty when you were much younger. <laughs> Let me look at you. Look at me. That's it. There you go. <laughs> it's so sad. You cannot even respond. 
Well, it's all good. I'll tell you. What do you say to a sumptuous meal? A sumptuous meal like oats and fried plantain. You like it, right? I'm sure you would like it. <laughs> so, sit pretty and I will get to your breakfast, right? Coffee. <laughs> Madam Sonia, good morning. I figured out you might want a cup of coffee before you go to work. I see. Now a housekeeper that knows how to make coffee in the morning. Mm. We're finally getting our money's worth after all. I'll say thank you to that, ma. You're welcome. Ma, apart from the coffee, would you want any other thing for breakfast? No, I don't do breakfast. I was actually trying to make an um, oat for Mrs. M so I can take it to her. Don't bother. She won't eat it, okay? Stop trying already. Why do you say that, Ma? Because patients with psychiatric catatonia don't eat, they don't drink, they don't move. They just sit like statue and then they watch the world go round. She ought to have been committed in a psychiatric home, but my brother won't have it. That's why we have doctors and psychiatrists come over to check on her every day. I didn't know about this. Sorry, ma. So sorry. For God's sake, stop apologizing already! Just do your homework, okay? And save me the stress of always explaining things to you. Start with the oat first. Here. Mrs. M. Here. Oh. Mrs. M, you need to eat. Please. Trust me. Here. I made the oat myself. It's so delicious. You like it. Mrs. M, you need all the nutrients you can get. For real. Mrs. M, please try and eat. For your continuous good health, you have to eat right and eat well. Let's try again. Mrs. M. Sonia was right. Okay. Since you don't want to eat. It's fine. I'll read you a book. I'll read you a book. I'm sure you'd like it. Okay. Hmm. Truth is life. <laughs> This is a good one. I can see you're a lover of good books. I saw your book collection in your study. <laughs> okay, I think I would have a great time reading this one. Let's see. Okay, chapter one. Fuck off. 
fuck you. Then you just be civil, please. At least for my sake. I'm sorry, my queen. Is this damn place? It has a way of getting on my nerves all the time. It's okay. I'm sorry, okay? How are you doing? I missed you so much. How is my baby kicking? Danny Jr., how is he? Well, my baby is doing fine. Our baby, you mean, Elena? This thing in here is my baby. And your baby, too. So it's not just your baby alone, it's for us. Remember, we met that magic together. Nani, you're not a free man, remember? So you're in no position to claim rights. <sighs> Will you ever forgive me, Elena? Forgive you for what exactly? Huh? For what? For being a fraud star? Or for deceiving me into marrying you and living a fake life? Or for being stripped of everything that we owned and being thrown out into the street? What exactly am I forgiving you for, Danny? What? I am sorry, Elena. I am sorry you had to go through all this. You know this is not the life I planned for you. Elena, I love you. And I promise you that once I am out of this hair hole, Elena, I am going to make it up to you. Can you just quit all these fake promises already? Quit it! Well, one of the reasons why I'm here is to let you know that I've gotten a job. A job as a housekeeper. And I'll be doubling up as a nurse. Elena, you cannot do that. You cannot work as a housekeeper or a petty nurse, whatever the job description. You are my wife. I am still Danny Boy. You can never work as whatever house. Elena, people are supposed to be serving you. You are not meant to serve anybody. I promised you heaven and earth and I'm still going to give it to you. Ah, story of my life. Elena, please, tell me that as you are going straight from this place, you are going to quit that job. Go and quit that job immediately. Danny, you are in no position to make demands. Well, Anyway, I'm here to tell you that I have filed for a divorce. Yes. I will no longer continue with this. The earlier we ended this whole thing, the better for us. The better for me. So that I can move on with my life. Elena, you cannot do that! Danny? Hold on. Elena! Come back here! What are you doing standing there looking like a ghost? Gosh, you almost scared me out of my wits. So sorry, man. Are you crying? Crying? No, no not at all. Why will I cry? No, man. You're such a terrible liar. Instead of standing there shedding tears, why don't you go and check on my mom? I get dinner ready too. Thank you, man.
<sighs> so, tell me, how was your day? Hope you had an eventful one. Because I heard your doctor came around. Anyway, thank God you had a nice day. I'm happy. That's more like it. You know, sometimes I wish, I wish I can just be like you. I wish I can just close my eyes and fall into a deep coma. Anything that would just make me forget the deep mess that I am in. Sometimes, you know, at times, I just wish my mom was alive. Because she's the only person that would listen to me and not judge me. She's the only person who would comfort me. Angelina, I have to say they're a very good cook. Want to be working in a high class hotel or restaurant? Mm -hmm. Well, that's always been the idea. But what will I do? You know, I've always dreamt of owning my own restaurant or you know managing one for someone. But that dream never came to reality after I got married. But why, Angelina? Well. My husband thought it was beneath him that he would not have his wife working under someone as an ordinary cook. So he pulled me out from there before I graduated. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. <laughs> Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Good is there anything you wanted? Yes, my brother will be returning from the States tonight. And I was thinking you should prepare something really nice for him. Oh, okay. Um, what do you have in mind, Ma? I don't know. Maybe something light and continental. Mm. But I don't know if I can trust you to pull this through, seeing as you don't have any formal qualifications as a chef. Why not? <laughs> oh, yes. Now I remember. You were busy being a slave queen for your fraud star husband. It was good. Please help him take those bags inside. <laughs> oh. so, did you put on some weight? No, I didn't. I know you're just trying to tease me as always. Yeah, you know me now. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Same here. Tell me, how have you been? Been hoping, you know, trying to put the past behind. It hasn't been easy. No change. No change. Still. Yeah. Anyway. 
let's go inside. There are so many things for us to talk about today, and there's a lot of time too. Now come, let's go! <laughs> I know, well, right? I've got to do shoes you order. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you seem so excited. Yes, you see, Mr. Zak always buys us gifts whenever he visits Nigeria. I'm sure this time will be any different. I see. And he, he seems a nice person, right? Yes, he is. Hmm. Okay. Something smells delicious, Miss Selena. Oh, you. Look at you, your nose. <laughs> well, I'm done cooking Mr. Zak's dinner. Yeah, but I am not giving you nothing, not even a little portion, <laughs> mm -hmm. until all our buses must have had their fill. You know me too well, Miss Selena. Of course, I know you. <laughs> well, can you help me um, set the table, okay? Because I know very well that Mr. Zach will be so famished after freshening up. Please, eh? All be right, fast. Ma Excuse me, Miss Selena. Okay, yeah. It's your birthday. The plans to do it big. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's still gonna happen. It's not gonna happen thanks to those comeback scammers. I promise you, I will make every one of them pay. Every one of them, I promise. Sonia, fight this darkness. Fight it. I need you, Mama. I don't know what I'll do without you. I don't know what I will do if we lose you. I'm not supposed to be the one serving this meal. Why are you the one serving it? Yes, ma, but Miss Elena asked me to help her out since she's not feeling well. Elena is not feeling well? Yes, madam. If you ask me, I would say she must have stressed herself too much today without her being pregnant and all. Well, I didn't ask you, okay? So take your opinion and shove it. No. Get out. I'm sorry, madam. Excuse me. You heard a pregnant woman to cook? Okay. Well, she was broke and needed money, or so I thought. Besides, bringing her here to work suits my purpose just fine. Yeah, what purpose would that be? You will never believe who is working here as our cook. Like, you won't believe it. And when you find out, you praise me for my ingenuity, I swear. Okay, now I'm curious. Who's this? In good time, bro, you find out. In good time. Let's eat. Well, this is really good though. <laughs> Who made this? I like it. Uh, she did, I Most guess. Homemade food. Special look one. Have you lost a damn mind? What were you thinking? Why would you bring that murderer into our house? 
Zach, calm down, okay? I have my reasons. Just hear me out. Besides, Elena isn't even the one responsible for Chris's death. Her husband is. No, that's not how I say this thing. She is married to the scammer. So she already knows everything about his legal dealings. She can't even deny that she's not enjoying the money or the wealth or living like the Daloka. Because there's no how she can tell me she doesn't know where this money is coming from. So how I say this thing is, she is as guilty as a scammer husband. You're right. But imagine how humiliating it is for the once belle of this very mansion to turn around and become nothing but a mess of an, in a house she once owned. Like, how are the might to fall on? No, we stand. I want her a thousand miles away from me. In fact, a million miles away from me because I don't want anyone to come to this house and remind us of the painted past we had. Okay? Okay. But hey, it was your girlfriend's idea. It made sense to me and I bought it. Plus, you can't even imagine how I enjoy having Elena grovel at my feet like the scum she truly is. <laughs> oh God, it's you, Mercy. Yes, it's me, Miss Elena. Who else did you think it was? Well, I thought it was... Never mind. You startled me, that's all. <laughs> I see. Well, you don't look like you slept a wink last night. You have bags under your eyes and all. Well, you can say that again. I guess I didn't have enough sleep last night. But you know that's usual with a pregnant woman. Well, quit being inquisitive and help me go set the table for breakfast. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I don't mind serving you guys. If you don't feel up to it this morning, okay? I really don't mind. Oh, thank you very much, Mercy. I really appreciate it. You don't mention it, ma'am. I'm glad to be of help. That's okay. You know, between you and Eva, I don't even know who's crazy enough to come up with such an idea. Okay. Ever heard of the saying, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer? We just might learn a thing or two from Mrs. Danny Boy enough to finally convict him of murder. Well, you might be right, but you still have to be careful. Because she might have a hidden vendetta. Remember, we are the reason why she got kicked out of this house. You might be right. No, no. She doesn't have it in her, okay? She's just stupidly innocent and naive. Listen, you're not getting it. It's all an act. This couple are scammers, remember? They master the art of deception. So you have to be careful. I'm serious. I know, Zach. You're right. I will. But right now I'm hungry, okay? Are you coming down for breakfast with me? No, I'll probably join you. Okay, so see you then. Don't I know you? Who are you and what the hell are you in my house? You're not responsible for my pregnancy, if that's what you think. Whatever that means. What the heck are you doing in my house? Well, I am your new housekeeper, unfortunately. My what? I was heading to my room, if you'll excuse me. Hey, hey, I'm not going to see you, hey. Remind me who you are again. I said I am the new housekeeper, but I can see you have a problem with that. Maybe I might as well add that I'm your sick mother's nurse. Would that make you any less angry? <laughs> you. I know who you are. Aren't you the wife of that scamming, murderous criminal? Huh? huh. <laughs> now it's all making sense. Why am I not surprised? Honestly, don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, please, cut the crap! You know exactly what I'm talking about. He put you up to this, didn't he? Said to come and pick my brain for me to spill my guts and give information. Hmm? 
<laughs> Too bad. You almost had me, you know. I must commend your acting skills. But good thing I didn't fall for it. And to think you actually are pregnant with this baby. You, madam, are to be ashamed of yourself. You dare try it. Don't even think about it. You know, like you disgust me. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Say that, don't say that. Listen. Listen to me. There's a lot to live for. There's a lot to live for in this life. You live, you love, you achieve. Listen, you can watch your wrongs, no matter what it is. Be it your health issues or financial or whatever it is. Have a second chance to correct everything, right your wrongs. Okay? There's a lot to live for. Okay? Thank you. What's your name? My name is Elena. Elena, I'm Zach. I am here for you. No matter what it is, you talk to me about it. Okay? Just don't give up like that. Fight. Fight the depression, whatever it is. This house after everything that happened. Come on, I thought we were way past that already. I'm just frustrated, okay? I can't wait to have enough evidence to throw her and everyone involved in Chris's death into jail. Believe me, I want the same thing too. We, we all do, okay? But if you don't calm your nerves down, we won't be able to achieve anything. I am trying to stay calm. I am trying. But to come back home and find the same enemy under the same roof with us? Come on! Zach, you have the cards to this game. And if you don't play well, we'll ruin everything. Just calm down, okay? I hear you, sis. I hear you. I am trying. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm seeing you. I have missed you so much, my darling. You're so naughty. You told me your number was not going to be available, and I fell for it. I would have surprised you, that's why. And sure, you did. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Um, I just served your dinner. Miss Sunny has already had dinner, so I just figured out that you'll be hungry when you return. You must think I'm a fool to want to eat anything you prepare. Get this thing out of my face! Get out of here! I said get out of here! Careful. Such a pity, Mrs. M. But I'm afraid I don't think I can work here any longer. Not knowing who your son is and how much he detests me and everything that has to do with me. It's so amazing to think that I would miss you because I've grown so fond of you. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. What in blazes is the meaning of this, Elena? Did I pay you to cry all over my mom? Um, I'm, I'm so sorry, Madam Sonia. It's not what you think. I think it has to do with my pregnancy hormones. Like, it's just making me so emotional these days. And I'm, I'm so sorry. I promise it will never happen again. Oh, poor Elena. We poor pregnancy hormones. Why don't you leave your poor hormones out of this and admit that it was your poor greedy choices that landed you in the mess you are in today? I beg your pardon? Yes. You married a criminal, so you will bear the consequences, okay? Please. Take my mom to the bathroom, give her a warm bath, and prepare her for her doctor's visit. Don't let me find you here sitting down and blabbing. Rubbish. Yes? 
Yes, come in. So I've come to hand in my resignation letter. Because going by the circumstances at hand, it's obvious that I'm not needed any longer in this house. So I cannot continue working here. What circumstances would that be? The fact that you threw caution in the wind and recklessly slept with a total stranger on the first day? Or what are the circumstances you're talking about? Well, now that you've mentioned it, and reasons best known to you. It's obvious that I'm not welcomed here. I'm talking about recklessness. Need I remind you that I wasn't the only one reckless that day. In fact, you were the one that initiated the first case. And that I will forever regret. Well, that makes the two of us, really. And since the feeling is mutual, I really don't know if I would be missed anyway. So, I'm gone. Goodbye. Not so fast, young lady. Do you think I'm going to let you go up that easy? Why well, you have another thing coming? Beg your pardon? Check your contract. It says you work for us for three months with a month's notice before you resign. Anything contrary to that, I will sue you for breach of contract. You wouldn't even dare. Oh, you don't want to know what I can do and not. Why are you doing this? Why? It's obvious that you and your sister hates me. You people keep humiliating me in this house. You don't want me here. Why are you keeping me here? And you people keep treating me as if I'm a scumbag. Why? Because scum is what you and that your scammer husband are. I speak about humiliation. That's the least thing you both deserve for the atrocities you've committed. Atrocities we've committed? What atrocities are you talking about? What? And why do you keep bringing Danny into our conversation? What are you saying? Why are you doing all this? Why? You want to know? You really want to know, right? I'll show you. Take it easy. She's the reason. My mother's the reason why I will never forgive you. And that bastard swindler I call her husband. What? Mrs. Matilda? Yes. Mrs. Matilda, my mother. She's in this condition because of you and your husband. Honestly, I am so sorry. <laughs> you, you mean... she's one of Danny's victims? No. It was unfortunately. My brother. Chris was. He was our last one. The apple of her eyes. And when he died, she couldn't take the shock. Oh no. She completely lost it. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I am. But really, I don't understand. What happened? Enough of the pretense. You were married to him. You can't tell me that you didn't come across my brother during one of your dirty dealings. You can't tell me that you didn't know that your husband swindled him and scammed him off his hard earned money. All he worked all his life for. Now people are saying he committed suicide, but I don't believe that bullshit. So you think your brother was murdered? Whatever I'm thinking right now is none of my business. Just know that I have vowed to make the lives of those involved in my brother's misfortune live in hell. And you see this humiliation you claim you're facing right now? It's not compared to the hell I have planned for you when I throw you behind bars. And when I gain enough evidence to incriminate all those involved in my brother's murder, you will all feel it. Mrs. M, I'm deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm 
I'm so sorry you lost your son. Hey, what's up? You look rather intense. No, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, I promise. Just... Really? Yeah. You know you can tell me anything, right? Well, maybe I'm just enchanted by your beauty. Oh, stop it, you charmer. <laughs> but seriously, you look like you have a lot on your mind. And you know you can talk to me about anything. Babe, it's nothing, for real. You just, you know. You're sure? <sighs> okay, do you really want to know what I'm thinking about? Of course. So I, I was wondering what your reply would be if I uh, told you that I want to marry you. Stop it. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. I'm serious. <coughs> really? Is that a yes? Of course, silly! Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god I love you so much! <laughs> Wanna get a ring? <laughs> yes. I like it. I love you so much. <laughs> You're not thinking of another suicide attempt. What do you think me for? I have a life growing inside of me that I need to protect. Need I remind you? Oh, it was good you realized. Because any more attempts will not be tolerated in this house. I'll not allow you get a rise out of me tonight. No, I won't. So quit trying already. Whatever. Well, I'll suggest you go to your room and go lay down because you staying here is no good for you and the baby. Yes, I will. Zach. What is this? I'm sorry. Sorry about everything. You have to believe me, I had no idea. Really. Don't lie to me, okay? Do not lie to me and tell me you had no idea. Because you did. Honestly, I didn't. You remember that day at the pool? When I was trying to take my life? It was because Danny lied to me. He duped me. Well... <laughs> Maybe not the same way he did with your brother, but I lost everything too. And the grief led me to suicide until you came along and you saved me. Stop it. Just stop it. Okay, I don't remember anything happened that day. Honestly, you came along and you saved me. I said stop it. I will give anything, anything to forget everything that happened that day. So just stop. Oh, that's you. But as for me, I will never forget that day. Neither will I ever forget what transpired between us. Because for Christ's sake, you gave me a reason to leave again. Stop it! Just stop it! I said stop it! Why are you doing this to me? Huh? Distractions like you are the last thing I need right now. So stop it!
is wrong with me? Why can't I just stop thinking about her? What's going over me? I need to stop thinking about this girl, okay? She's the enemy. see me as the enemy. What about what we feel for each other? The attraction. It will still not change anything because you will still not believe that I had nothing to do with your brother's death. You will still not believe that I am innocent. Because I am no fool, okay? You are married to that godforsaken swindler. Enjoying his illegal wealth every day, sleeping and waking up beside him. Trying to convince me that you have no idea of his illegal dealings? Come on. Well, I really have nothing to say. I'm left with no choice than to ask you to leave my room. Just leave. You know what? You're right. I don't even know what I was thinking about coming here in the first place. What are you doing, sir? I'm making my breakfast. Can I help you? Oh, no, don't worry. I can make for the others, but for now, I'm working this way. Okay, sir. Thank you. I'm just for the rest of us. Leave us. No, someone seems to have woken up on the wrong side of the bed today. Let's just say I'm not in the best of moods, brother. No, it's obvious. What happened? What were you thinking sneaking out of Elena's room at such late hour last night? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. Of course nothing. I... I wait. Did you think... Zach, I think come I on. I'm not stupid, okay? I've seen the way you look at her. Yes, your, your, your body language whenever she's around you. Like a man who is falling in love with a woman. Seems to me you're forgetting she's the enemy here. Don't be ridiculous, okay? You're the one who is being ridiculous. Yes. This minute you're proposing to Eva, which was never part of the plans, by the way. The next minute you're falling in love with Elena. What exactly are you up to, bro? I am not falling for anyone, okay? I am not. If I must remind you, I have an objective, and that is to find out if Eva or Elena are accessories to our brother's murder. I will do anything, whatever it takes, to make sure I pin these guys. 
Then why do I have the feeling your emotions are getting over your head? No, it's your imaginations that are getting over your head. My imaginations, huh? Yes. Eva, I need your help. You need to help me. Honestly, I need you to help me get them to cancel the contract that I signed. I need to leave that house as soon as possible. I just can't leave there any longer. Not, not now that I know. But you know what? I mean, are you even thinking at all? Why the sudden change of heart? Wait, have you started making other plans without letting me know? No, Eva, not that at all. It's just that I, I made a huge mistake. I just can't risk continuing to live in that house and have the truth unraveled. I just can't. Elena, what truth? <sighs> I'm, see, I'm beginning to think that this is not about Danny. It's not. Then what truth do you not want to unravel? The truth about... The true paternity of my unborn child. Danny isn't the father of my baby, my friend. I didn't tell you. Wait, say what now? <laughs> Elena, did you just say that Danny, your husband, is not the father of your unborn child? He's not. Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm surprised. Because, I mean, who would have thought that you... Wait a minute. If Dan is not the father of your unborn child, then who is? If I know you won't believe this. I don't even believe in myself. Like, the way the thing happened, it happened so fast. Um, Zach Udogo is the father of my baby. What? Yes. Honestly, it was just a huge mistake. I just don't know. I just don't know how it all happened. We we we, we lost control. We lost control about everything. We, we we couldn't just control our emotions. You 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 know he was mourning his dead brother then, and I was just so depressed and devastated after what Danny did to me. So it just happened like that, you know. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know about it. He doesn't know he's the father yet. So you see, you see why I just have to leave that house as soon as possible. I just have to like go far away where they wouldn't even be able to find me at all. Oh, please help me, my friend. Please. Hmm. Boy, that trash, Elena! I mean, who could have thought that behind all that innocence lies a shameless tramp? And to think that Danny left me for her. What a laugh. I will be damned if I let you ruin things for me once again, Elena. I've lost a man to you once. I would not let it happen again. Ever. Is this really you? Let me guess, you finally realized you were missing the boy. <laughs> you miss Danny boy so much, that is why you are here to see me after months of incarceration. Stop kidding yourself, Danny. You and I are a close chapter. Got it? How convenient. Mm -hmm. Now that you are here, I want to know, why are you claiming ownership of my house and the 25 million naira I left I left in safe keeping with you. You were meant to give Elena everything as I instructed in case of any eventuality. So you what now? Repeat it? Cause I'll... Don't make me angry. Don't play with me. Are you that wicked? Elena is out there working as, as a housekeeping whatever. And you are here with my money. Are you, Eva, is this who you are? 
I'm as wicked as you made me. In fact, as wicked as you are. Oh, so it's not bad enough hmm? that you threw me over for her. It's also not bad enough that you broke your promise to me and went ahead to marry her. You now want me to bend my back and help her in the time of need. Wake up from your slumber. Ever. The house, the money, they are all mine. They belong to me! But in my name. Money paid into my account. And if you think in your wildest dreams that I would transfer everything to Elena, you are a joker. Why? Why are you conniving, bitch? <laughs> well. I'm not as conniving as the woman that you sacrificed everything for. Same woman that went ahead and slept with another man. Not just sleeping with another man, actually. She also got pregnant for him. You are very stupid. <laughs> Let me tell you. You can never be half the decent woman Elena is. <laughs> hmm, see why you're a fool. Big fool, actually. And the fact that you're saying this is making you a bigger fool. Your wife, Elena, the so called decent Elena, is carrying another man's child. You are stupid. I will never believe that. You know it's a lie. Elena cannot do that to me. Let me tell you what you're trying to do. You want to turn me against Elena. But that won't happen. I will never give in to that. Anyways, I didn't come here to banter words with you. I just thought you should know that I am going to be getting married pretty soon to none other than Zach Udonji. Does it ring a bell? Yes, it does ring a bell. With that expression, it does. But just in case you have forgotten, let me remind you. His Chris's brother, the one you swindled and then killed. I get the picture now. Eva, you sold me out, didn't you? We shall see. <laughs> Okay, baby. I just saved you. You know what you are? Big loser. You lost me. You lost Elena. And you lost the child. I'm sure you were so happy when you heard about it. I hope you're not in jail. Danny boy. Well, Zach, I wish I could say yes, but I'm afraid not. Damn it! <sighs> um, please, ma'am, you have to be on a very close watch. I'll be on my way now.
are you okay? Why do you enjoy asking silly questions to obvious answers? How will I be okay? How will I be okay when my mother is just sitting out there like a vegetable and there's nothing I can do about it? How am I supposed to be okay? I'm sorry. I honestly wish there's something I can do about it. Don't we all? Don't we all? The thing now is that my mother has chosen to give up on life simply because she lost a son. Forgetting that she has like two more children who need her. Who will be devastated if anything happens to her? But does she care? Obviously not. I, 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 I guess she loves her son more than she loves us. That's not true. You don't talk like that. What do you want to say? How, how, how else am I meant to process this whole thing? Mrs. Matilda, I can't say that I know how it feels for one to lose a precious child. But with mine on the way, I can pretty much guess. I mean, I haven't even met my baby. But I know very well that I would lose my mind if anything were to happen to him. I can't even believe how much I've grown to love this precious baby growing inside of me. And I'm sure that's the same way you love all three of your children. I'm very sure. If only you know how much they miss you. And how much they are suffering seeing you in this condition. You would get better fast. Please, Mrs. M. I am begging you. I want you to fight this, fight this darkness that is threatening to swallow you up. Please fight this fight. Fight for your son, Zach. Fight for Sonia. And and your unborn grandchild. Yes, you have so much more to live for. So much, Mrs. M. Fight! I know you can do it. Fight, Mrs. M. Would you mind if I serve you a cup of coffee? I'm fine, Elena. You should try and get some rest. Don't lose me, I'm like, I can go. Considering your condition. I'm only understand. doing my job. There's really no need for you to care about me. I understand. But still. Hey, ladies. Just come. I need it. <laughs> so, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in the kitchen. Um, Elena, can I have a glass of juice, please? I mean, that's if you don't mind. It, it's your job, right? Of course. I miss you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is really beautiful. Yes. 
You know me now. The wedding dress has to be amazingly sexy. Finally, Elena. I was about to send the cavalry to come get you. We no longer have chill juice, so I had to put this into the fridge to allow it chill a bit before I bring it to you. Wow. With your mouth, you confess your incompetence. Tell me, whose job is it to say that the drinks are put in the fridge? Mine? Babe, just calm down, okay? I'm sure it's simple oversight. A simple oversight, you say? Yes. And what are you doing standing there? Pour the drink already and get the hell out of here. Sure it was intentional. What are you saying? I demand that you fire her right now. She's incompetent. Yes, she has to be fired, okay? Come on, Elena. This pregnancy is making you so clumsy. What I don't know in the life of me is why I employed a pregnant woman in the first place. Enough, both of you. I don't hear any derogatory words of either of you anymore. Elena here is the strongest pregnant woman I've seen all my life. Oh. So if both of you don't like her services anymore, Go in there and serve yourselves. Elena, please go and continue enjoy. What's up, Mom? Really? Just look at that. Wait, did Zach just work out on you? It's okay, Eva, it's okay. Let's just have a look. You know, I must warn you not to get too comfortable. You might have won this round, but I promise you the next time you will not be this lucky. How dare you, Eva? Who the hell do you think you are? Zach's woman. I am his fiancé and I do not know what game you're trying to play. But don't you dare reveal the paternity of that brat you're carrying to him. Or I swear, you will realize what I'm capable of. Oh. So that is what all this fracas is about. Huh? So all this animosity and resentment you are showing me is because you feel threatened by me. <laughs> well, you feel that I would snatch Zach from you? I guess that was why you omitted telling me that both of you were involved. Even after spilling my guts to you. Why are you acting all innocently astonished like you've never done it before? Haven't you done it before? Danny and I were involved until you came into the picture with your fake virginity and fake innocence. But look at you. <laughs> look at you. I mean, who would think that you'd be so loose as to get pregnant for another man while being married to his enemy? Eva. Oh my God. You mean you, mean you and Danny were involved? Please, 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 stop with your pretense, I beg. Stop with your pretense. Either I swear I did not know. You know what? It's way too late for all of this now. But I must tell you something. I do not want history to repeat itself. Or I swear on my life I would not take it Lillian's with you. You just love happily ever afters. Yeah. <sighs> if only life were really simple the way it looks in books. Hmm. Okay, Mrs. M. We have to go inside because it's really getting hot out here. All right. Let me just buckle up that and get you ready. Mm -hmm. 
Andi. Mrs. M. Mrs. M. You just talked. Oh my God. Mrs. M. You just spoke. You talked. <laughs> And you moved your arm right now. Oh my god! <laughs> she just spoke. She talked right now. And she raised her arms. Yes! It moved. <laughs> Elena, I am so happy. You have no idea. This is like a miracle. Mama is getting better. She moved her arm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think you better call the doctor so that it doesn't look as if we're imagining things. I already did. Oh, okay. Dr. Ben will soon be here. I'm sure he's going to be as surprised as I am. <laughs> wow. Just imagine when she touched your belly. Wait a minute. I think that was what triggered it. A baby. <sighs> I'm afraid you didn't hear what she said. Well, Mrs. M whispered your brother's name, Chris, while she touched my tummy. Very good. Mm -hmm. Are you for real? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're kidding me. I wish I am. I'm afraid, Mrs. M, I'll be thinking that the baby I'm carrying be your brother, Chris, coming back to life. No. <laughs> We can't be serious. Is that even possible? I don't know. But I think in order not to disappoint your mom, you better hasten your marriage plans with Eva. So at least you guys can start up with a baby making thing. I wouldn't want your mom to go into a relapse, would we? Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in my room. Mrs. Maltiola. Remember me? Oh, please don't tell me you do not remember me. <laughs> you know, you could have actually fooled me. And yeah, I heard that you are trying so hard to fight to be part of the leaving once again. But you know what? That won't do. That won't do because I will not let you ruin everything that I have worked for. So you know what? I would add you to my list of losers. So that Zach, my baby, and I can live happily ever after. <laughs> oh good. Goodbye for now, mother-in-law. Mrs. M? Mrs. M? Mrs. M? Wow. You know, it's amazing that you stood up for the first time. Gosh, this calls for celebration. Are you in the restroom? Mrs. M? Mrs. M? Where could she have gone to? Oh, <laughs> 
Mrs. M, what are you doing in here? Come. Come, come, come. Just, just come out, just come out. What are you doing in here? Oh my God. What is it? But what were you doing in the wardrobe? It's okay, just come. Come to sit down. Everything will be fine, just sit. You'll be fine. Well, um, I have given her some sedatives now. She should be okay when she wakes up. The products are kind of worried about what you heard it. According to what um, Melina said, she found her in a very awkward uh, position. Yes, doctor. I'm afraid something must have made her run into the wardrobe like that. She was so petrified. Well, I can say for sure your mother is recovered. But her recovery comes with a memory that her mind is trying to block. I think she might have seen something that frightened her. Before or after my brother's death? Well, it's a long reach here, Zach. We won't know for sure until she comes to full consciousness. That's all I can say for now. Am I now? Yeah, maybe because I can't keep this secret anymore. It's making me run mad. Eva, just what's happening? What's, what's the matter? Uh, easy on alcohol, okay? What's the problem? I'm sick. You are an amazing man. And I see how you care and sympathize for Elena in, in her condition. And I'm filled with guilt. I'm, I'm filled with guilt because I am torn between being loyal to my friend and the love that I have for you because I love you so much. Eva. But Yes. For the love that I have for you, I would tell you everything. Tell me what, Eva. You're tipsy. Okay, stop drinking already. I can't. I cannot watch you care for the person that killed your brother anymore. I can't. I can't do it. What's I say? Elena. Zach, Elena and her husband killed your brother. What? You, they, they killed him because he was threatening them, man. She even took his Rolex wristwatch and was bragging about it while he was dying. And you know about this all this while? And you said nothing to me? Babe, no. How could you even? <laughs> How could you? Do you know I can get you arrested for accomplice to murder? Do you? Babe, she's pregnant. I so what? How could you? How could you? How could you? Me? How could you? This is pregnant for crying out loud. You don't expect me to expose our whole child to a life of torture in jail? I couldn't. So, yes. Yes, I'm guilty. I'm guilty for having a heart. Or like Elena. <laughs>
like you're having me arrested? I don't understand. Where's the pretense already? Your game is up. What game? What game are you talking about? If this is a game to you for real, I am not finding this funny. Elena, just stop. Stop pretending. Look, I'm sorry. I cannot keep your secret anymore. I had to confess everything to Zach. You couldn't keep my secret? What are you saying? What are you talking about, Eva? You and I know very well that I had nothing to do with Chris's mother. Why are you doing this? Why are you lying against me? What I found, Zach. Chris's Rolex. You won't believe he's been hidden amongst her belongings all the while she's been here. You see? Zach, Zach, you better believe me. Do you want to deny this? Do you want to deny not ever knowing my brother? <laughs> what kind of woman steals from a dying man? I wonder. Zach, please, you better believe me. I have never seen that Rolex in my whole life. Never. I have nothing to do with Chris's mother. I don't know anything about that wristwatch. So how did it get in there? How? <laughs> if, if, if I just... Do you know what I believe? I believe it occurs to me and my family. I curse the day I laid my eyes on you. Officer, take her away. Please, I'm begging, please. I swear I didn't do it. I didn't. Yes, come on. Look, I didn't do it. Madam Sonia, I didn't do it. I swear. Eva, why are you doing this? Eva, please. Tell them the truth. Eva, Eva. Eva, please. <laughs> I thought the reason why I sent for me was to confess your involvement in my brother's death. But I seem to have underestimated how hardened your heart is. First, you have to believe me. I cannot confess to a crime that I know nothing about. Honestly, Zach, I didn't do it. I don't have to believe your lies anymore. Tomorrow, you're going to be charged to court. I pray and hope that you get the death penalty. Please, I beg of you, I didn't do it. I swear with everything that I hold sacred, which is my unborn child, I didn't do it. I am innocent, I swear. I didn't kill your brother. How would I do a thing like that? I am innocent. Please believe me. You remember the day that we met? You gave me a reason to leave again. Why would you take that away from my life? Don't you dare remind me of that day anymore. Don't you ever try it. My God, don't you ever get tired? You manipulative tramp. Let me tell you, if that's a ploy to get me to have mercy on you, you have failed woefully. You understand me? Honestly, please believe me, Zach. Please. Please, I beg of you, I didn't do it. Honestly, I thought we bonded together that day. Why are you doing this to me, please? Deep inside your heart, do you think that I am a murderer? Your heart knows better now than to trust a treacherous heart like yours. Zach, please, Zach! Okay, madam, let's go to the cell. My mind is melted. Tears running down unstoppable Slowly life is taken away from me Tears coming out unquenchable Taking my slice, the morning has taken my joy. My world is crashing down, darkness is close to my door. I don't know, the storm is coming. I don't know, the storm is raging. Considering the headway we've made on Chris's mother case, one would think you'd be elated by now. But the contrary is the case, Zach. Why? 
I don't know, but I feel like there's something missing. You know what the problem is? You fell in love with a criminal. Yes, that's the problem. And I'm glad she and her baby were rot in jail. So, what if I tell you that there's a slight chance, maybe like a very tiny chance, that maybe Elena could be innocent? Zach, if you believe that, then you're the worst kind of fool. Come on. Lena is playing you and you're falling for her tricks. And by the way, when is Eva going to be arrested? Or have you suddenly decided to absolve her as an accomplice to murder? Never. I made a promise to Chris that I'm going to make everyone involved in this death pay. And I'm sticking to that. It sure doesn't look like it. Oh, trust me. It's going to happen. In due time. Okay, you time. Oh, Danny boy, it was so amazing. I mean, you were gullible and innocent. Um, Elena never saw it coming. <laughs> you know, actually, I didn't have to do much. All I needed to do was swap the characters. So I replaced me with Elena and Elena with me. <laughs> and poor Zan, he swallowed the story. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> oh, Danny, you should have seen his expression when Sophia brought out the Rolex wristwatch I hid in Elena's baby. Oh, damn it, Eva! <laughs> the bloody piece of death! The devil has nothing on you. Hmm. I will take that as a compliment, and I will say thank you. But don't forget I learned from a good teacher what happens to be you, sweetheart. Now, all I need to do is eliminate the one person that is between me and my happily ever after. Which happens to be that small. Yeah. And then afterwards, I would have a perfect life. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> What do you ever? Mm. You will rot in hell for everything you have done to Elena. Mm. I promise you that. Haven't you heard? Hell is a fiction, darling. Now all I need to do is enjoy my money and enjoy my life to the fullest. And don't worry about my life in the afterlife, darling, because I can deal with whatever comes out. Well, hello once again, Mrs. Matilda. I heard you've been a naughty girl. What was all that about? Hiding in the wardrobe and making people feel like you're scared of something? Or should I say, someone? You know what? I should just put you out of this misery so you could finally go and rest. And that would definitely benefit me. Because you know what they say? Dead men don't talk.
If I, I caught you with this poison, try to harm my mother. <laughs> so all this while you are pretending to be good. Hmm? You even managed to implicate Elena into this mess. I knew there was more to you than meets the eye. No. Whatever it is you think you saw, whatever you saw, I can explain, babe. I love you so no, much. Say, don't even dare touch me. Don't come near me. Don't try it. Save all your explanations for the police. Hey, babe, no, please, babe. Come <laughs> Let go of me! Keep you my keep my with... I swear you will regret this, Zach! You will definitely regret this! Let go of me! My baby. My wonderful son, Chris. I cannot believe that you no more. Because by the father I witnessed it. I saw it all. Yet I cannot let it be. Oh, Chris. I'm sorry, but it's nothing now. Honestly, yes. she said I could afford to leave Lou's head just lying around. You get me? So trust me, it's not personal. Yeah, that reminds me. What? Don't die with me here. Yeah? There you go. Good girl. So this will definitely fetch me something. It's a surprise visit. I wanted to take him on her way. She killed him. That wicked and evil woman killed my son in cold blood. She hit my head when I tried to escape. so that you know that you survived the blow to the head. I think Mrs. Matilda recognized Eva. Something tells me that Eva was the cause of the panic attack she had the other day. She, she threatened me. She didn't like that I was regaining consciousness. She even tried to kill me. She tried to kill me. I'm not gonna worry. I promise you, no one will even touch you again. As for ever, trust me, I'll make sure they pay for everything, all the pain they've cost us in this family. I'll make sure of that. That's my promise to you. I'm so sorry you had to go through all of this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you did my peace. Elena. What are you doing here? What do you want? I came to take you home. For what? You didn't have to do that. Elena, I have to. I don't have a choice. It's my fault you're here. It doesn't matter. The most important thing right now is that my name has been cleared. So, 
will you ever forgive me? Forgive you for what? Like I said, you did what you had to do. I mean, I forgive me for not trusting you, for not believing you even when you tried to tell me the truth and prove to me your innocence. I, I, I wish I believed my instincts. Well, there's really no point, honestly, because the deed has been done already. Don't feel guilty for me. The most important thing to me right now is just to take this disgusting experience behind me and flip to the next chapter of my life. That's it. A chapter without me? Of course. A chapter without you. I was a big fool to think there'll be to think there'll be anything serious between us, but But there could be, Elena. Just give me a chance. Give me a second chance. I'll make this work. I promise you. Zach, there's really no point. Honestly. The only thing I want to do right now is get to your house, pick up my belongings and head up to my house. That's all. And I'm sorry I cannot work for you guys any longer. I know you understand. I owe you so much. It saddened my heart that you are living this way. Thank you, my child. Thank you. Believe me, Mrs. M. I'm elated to see you conscious and well. Thank you. On that note, my business here is finished. I have to go. Please, I'm sorry, okay? I treated you badly. And there was no reason whatsoever for that. Please forgive me. It's okay. It's alright. I understand. When one is aggrieved, you can overreact. Your apology is accepted. Thank you. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, Sonia, can you please help me? Why? I mean, shouldn't you do this yourself? I mean, you two have an unfinished business, right? If you know what I mean. Yes, Alina. Why don't you give me that by yourself now, again? Uh, you were not meant to say it until after I'm gone. Oh, really? Now you're making me curious of what mystery lies in this envelope mm -hmm. you have here. What's ahead for me? Okay, open it. What? What? I'm, I'm, I'm the father of your one child? I don't have any ulterior motive if that's what you're thinking and you are not obliged to any fatherly role. Please, I just think it's the right thing to let you know. Like i 
close to my door I don't know The storm is coming I don't know The storm is raging I'm drowning I'm drowning In the pool of my tears I'm drowning I'm drowning, I'm drowning In the pool of my tears, I'm drowning I'm drowning, I'm drowning In the pool of my tears, I'm drowning Please save me ah, Please save me Nobody knows, nobody knows